Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video of Myra short video series. In this video, we will be talking about plugin features. So as you might already know that Myra has recently launched its new program that is Myra Civil NX. In this program, you will have the possibilities of API and with the help of API, we have generated some plugin features which helps the user to overcome some of the limitations that he might come across during the modeling or the analysis time. So to avail the plugin feature, we go to this apps option and here you will find the plugin tab. Before we go with the plugin tab, here we first need to connect the API. So once you click on that option, it is connected. And here I choose the option of plugin. So we go to this marketplace. Here you will have all the plugins that has been launched. And first like to use, we will use the alignment generator. So plugins are something like which are using API feature and it can overcome any limitation of the program. So you can also make plugin by yourself just by basic coding or you can use these available plugins in the marketplace. So when you choose the plugin, it will give you a video as well how to use it and some details of the same. I just click on run. And in this alignment generator option, we have the option to give any kind of alignment to our bridge profile. So for that, I will first select how many profile that I have to give and then the segments as well. Then I will give the details of the same. So I'm giving the total length for each span and then the segment details from here material ID and section ID are selected which is assigned to that part and this is the length of the element. Then we go to the alignment option. I will again give the same length to each profile and the intermediate profile I'm having as a clothoid curve. So I just give the radius for the same. So I'm giving this kind of profile to my bridge. Once that is given, I will click create. And the program generate the profile for me. So in this manner, you can obtain any kind of alignment to your bridge. Moving forward, so as you recall, like earlier, we used to make the substructure part as well from node and element tab. So first we will extrude the substructure that is peer and afterwards for the foundation part we will use another plugin so i go to the node and element i use create element here i will choose the extrude option and i go to the front view and using the select window i will select the nodes from which i want to extrude the peer We give the distance. So in this manner, you can see like the peer portion has been updated. Next, you want to define the substructure as well. So as I was talking about like earlier, we used to create the pile and the pile cap, everything manually using these options. But now when you go to the plugin, in the marketplace itself, you will find another option. That is for group pile. I click on run. Then we can give the details as well over here. So first I'll create some groups as well for the substructure part that I can assign here. Once that is given from here, I'll first refresh my plugin tab. So now it is updated. I can use the boundary group. Then I have to give the pile material and the pile section. So we have already defined those sections. We are just assigning it over here. Then I choose the pile cap feature as well since I want to define that as well and I choose corresponding section for the same. Then I will give the node number from where this pile start and the pile cap start. Then we give the array for the pile. So in this case, I'm giving three cross three and the length of the 
while I'm giving it as 20 feet. Then I just select the node and I click create. So it has all the details and now it will be automatically created for you at the desired location for the pile cap and the pile. Same thing we will do for the other part as well. I'll just update the node number. Select the node. And then create. So in this manner, you can see like you can easily define the substructure as well using this plugin option. So I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next.